Pep, you seem to really enjoy that one in the end. Was it a very important result for you tonight and the performance in the circumstances? Yeah, really, really important. You said it was a massive win for us. After we came from, from Saudi Arabia to being the world champion. Yeah, really pleased to go down and how we react and prove it again how special is this group of players, this club already, no group of players, all the club, the mentality that we we have all of us in our bones. So we want to be there. I know we are not top of the league. I know there's still many games to play. A lot of things is going to happen. I never saw Premier League like every game. The teams like they are down, down low on the middle table can beat everyone. So will be a lot of surprises and the question is still to be there. So we are really pleased for the victory, for the way we played, except after we see the goal when we were playing really good and he had chances. But the second half we increase our rhythm. We play more direct to the wingers and make a lot of runners and yeah, it was really, really good. Given that you were one nil down and the, the circumstances, does that make it even more satisfying to come back? Absolutely, but nothing is easy. So Football is like that, life is like that, so how you overcome the difficult moments. So I would love to have after 20 minutes, 0-4, but it is in, a, in Disneyland, in the, real, in the real football, it happened. It happened when at Crystal Palace, the way we played and we could not win. But how, how you, you know, overcome that situation, but these players move. I remember when the plane, when we came back from Saudi after being world champion, and I was there sitting in my seat and I listened to the players, they didn't know, I listened to them and said, oh Everton, I start to talk about Everton. Three days ago I start to talk about Everton. And I said, wow, this is my team. That means still, you know, how the difficulty, we saw the teams they beat here, the way they play is so special, you have to control many things and that is, we want to be there. So I like to, you know, after what we won, in many years, the team had the feeling that they want to try it, try it again. In the moment when you win a lot, the tendencies, you know, go down. And we had a lot of problems this season. We played really well in many games we were not able to win. Because the people say, yeah, this Man City is not the same. We lost one game in the last 12 or 13. And fairly, but Aston Villa were miles away better than us. But the rest of the games, we were better. If you analyze how we play, we were better, but we couldn't win. At football, it's happened, it's life. But I still have the desire to, you know, to focus after, you know, the world champion, how good we are. We, are, we don't talk about ourselves, how good we are. What's next? What's next? And that, I like it. I like a lot. Yeah. Uh, Pep, John Stones hurt his ankle in a moment in the game when the Everton player would have been <coughs> offside. Is that a rule that has to change, someone has to look at? I said to I said to Anthony Taylor, but uh, you know it's the same with the hands. Yes, there is one hand. You go to Europe Champions League is another hand. So I don't know honestly. I don't know. Yeah, it's offside. It's offside. When it's doubts, okay, don't do it. But it's offside. It's clear, it's offside. I have to make 25 meters. Now he's injured, and they did me right. Now you're right, Pep. When I tell you, you're right, you're right. Yeah, you're right. But <laughs> so. Yeah, what's 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 the situation? So, man, nah. again, so. Do you know how serious the injury is yet? No. no. Simon, on the other, please. Uh, how pleased were you with Phil Foden tonight stepping up in in the game? And are you seeing things now, playing in the middle that you weren't at the start of the season? We forget sometimes how young is is Phil. The game at Crystal Palace. He didn't help us, you know, to win the game. But that help, that will help to learn. In the next games, Rawa or uh, Fluminense, and today he learned. And the last minutes he played completely different than he played in Crystal Palace. The talent that we know is there, so he can play in wingers, strikers, dropping, can can play. You know, in a, in, a, in positions, um, attacking midfielder. And without without the absence from Erling, so we need the players with a little sense of goal. And Julian and Erling has to play there. Otherwise, we don't have many players with a real, real sense of goal. And that's why it's so important for us how he's playing. And we are really pleased for the for the game he played. But still, is don't forget he's young, and there are a lot of things he has to improve to be an incredible top top class player for many many years. Paul, back. What exactly is, has John done? Which, uh, which part he's his ankle. 
Anko. How disappointed is he because he's had quite a stop start season? Yeah, sometimes you have seasons that that way. They start going bad, going bad, and going bad. Hopefully, it's not the damage is not big and can come back soon. And January will be less demanding than it was in December. December had been really, really tough with the important players injured, but uh, yeah, still we are there. So I, I had the same feeling. The way we are playing is a. Uh, is quite good, more than good, I would say. But the mentality is still there. Still, they are angry and upset when they are no win, and they are relatively calm when they win. So, and that is the best way to handle the good moments and bad moments. Matt, just clarify the situation Ireland because you told Amazon before the game that he's not trained for the year. You're holding back the January, so might he miss training? No, he's training alone. He's running, getting better, but he's not training with the team, not yet. Kevin is. <coughs> Kevin is training with the team, but Erling is not yet training with the team. But it feels better. It's a question of uh, bone stress, it's not fracture, but uh, it's a question when the pain will disappear. So it's, it's getting better. But so you say hope for Yeah, hopefully, yeah. We, we wish that, yeah, definitely. Sorry, did you say Kevin is training with the team? Yeah. Yeah, it's close. But today had fatigue yesterday. And, and we have to be careful. When you have injured for three months, like ACL, for example, six months, if you know, handle a little bit good the timings, you get injured again. So the injury was serious. So step by step, but he's training with us and, and he's clean here. He's so positive and soon I think we'll, we'll be back. I would love to play next game or Hallsfield. Or you know, but important is, you know, to keep it fit for a long time, not for one game to another. Just a gentleman in green here. You good, Macau? Just finish. Um, any chance you can elaborate a little bit about the early injury? Is it just because of a hard knock on the foot, or is it because of the big load with the matches? And I, I, I said before, I'm not a doctor. I'm saying that I have a a, a, a stress in the bone in his feet and it's so painful and that's why he's not a guy like uh, Phil Foden, like he's small, skinny. So Erling is huge, tall and it's more difficult sometimes. So when he will he will he'll be fine, he'll be back and he will play. So but until now so the doctors come every morning and say this play is available, this play is available, this play is not available. So and since that I create the team and we play the games. <laughs>